You guys ready for another pinball adventure? Boys, we're here. You ready to see what we just bought? Okay, here we go. Okay, here it is, the grand opening. What's behind door number two? Hey, laundry. Well, what do you guys think? Shall we dig in? We got some nails that are sticking out quite a bit. Yeah, that was a thousand. Oops, I just, uh, uh, what the hell did we do? Oh my God. I'm Mike Dimas and this is Pinball Shenanigans. Hey, what's going on fellow shenaniganders? So, um, tomorrow I'm going on a, another shenanigandus adventure and Kevin and Dutch are going to be part of the action. We have uh, tag teamed our efforts on a crazy deal. Um, more crazy in terms of quantity than anything else. Uh, we have uh, got ourselves into a large container full of EM stuff for the most part. And uh, all the uh, T's have been crossed and I's have been dotted and uh, it is happening tomorrow, it's official. So we gotta go for a, a big hike with a big vehicle and um, have our muscles ready to go because we are talking. Actually, you know what? I'm just going to show you. Check this out. Okay, so we were received these photos. So, um, you know, this is a jungle princess head. Looks a little bit crusty around the edges. Maybe some red it's faded off there. Um, some coin coin boxes the face of a machine here not really sure what that is uh we got a what is that a bottom board for some em play field i don't even know what game that is it looks familiar a back glass here for something okay another back of a Playfield. If you're really savvy, you could probably tell what that is, but uh, it looks like maybe a Williams style crank for the flippers. Okay, so anyway, this is uh, what we're looking at here Solar City, Gottlieb Wedgehead High Score. There is one solid state, Matahari. And then I'm not sure what this is two inch flipper game from the 60s, probably. Uh, Sky Kings and then here this is the container uh, it is about a 20 by maybe 8 or something large size container filled with stuff um, boxes I don't know is that a speaker Tupperware uh, another cabinet here without a play field um, and then some cluster of bodies there I guess that is is that looks kind of Matahari-ish right here that could be the body this is so that's the front of the um, storage unit that is the two inch flipper game unless that's a different one I think it's the same one here's another view of uh, what we got this is kind of you know give it a, a somewhat of an idea of the quantity of stuff we're talking about here and dealing with um what else do we got there there's the there's the entrance <laughs> as you can see uh this is stuffed to the brim uh hundred i mean 20 foot long container and here is just you know it's apparently around 25 or 6 bodies and potentially hopefully all matching heads uh and so that means you know we're probably looking at about 100 pinball legs this is what's happening tomorrow. This is, uh, I don't know, I'm hoping to be able to film this craziness because it's gonna be uh, a lot of, it, the good news is there's like no stairs. We can just move it from point A to point B, up a ramp into the car trailer, and then uh, get back home and unload it all. Uh, Shawnee boy is gonna meet us when we get back there and help us offload all this stuff. And that is, is oh look there's the odds and evens there painted head here uh, that's some custom paint job there 
So, this is what's happening tomorrow. We're going to, uh, yeah, uh, this is like the biggest deal in the history of pinball shenanigans and my life in terms of quantity of stuff. It's an overwhelming, uh, overwhelming amount of stuff. But, uh, I mean, we're just silly like that. And we have to, uh, we're presented with this, some crazy shenanigans like this, then uh, we must partake. That is uh, how, we, how we roll. Uh, anyway, this is what's happening tomorrow. Stay tuned, wish us luck. It may rain, uh, it's very hot, but so maybe the rain will be welcome. But I gotta get up at early o'clock tomorrow and head over to Kevin's. I th think Dutch is coming and uh, we're gonna go for a bit of a hike. It's probably a good few hours with traffic and all that. So uh, wish us luck and I guess I'll check in with you tomorrow morning. Oh, I forgot to mention, as you can see from these photos, you can't really count 26 bodies, can you? I mean like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, maybe about 10 there. Um, and obviously you can't really see what's going on in half of this. And basically we know about 20% of what we're getting. The 80% that we can't really see is a surprise. So that'll be half the fun. Um, it'll be like Christmas in July. All right, I'm semi awake now. It'll be another shenanigandus adventure today. On the way to Kevin's to pick up Kevin and Dutch. Well, I'm going with them actually. Then we gotta pick up our 20 foot car trailer and head out of town. But the internet is actually, well, the cell service is down today. So I can't even like confirm and say, hey, we're gonna be on our way or Hopefully I didn't get a text saying, the deal is off. And then we show up there with a big truck and uh, three hours uh, worth of a drive each way. But uh, I doubt that's the case, but uh, going in a little bit blind. Um, but yeah, so uh, probably we'll see over at Kevin's. All right. Got two carts. Hopefully they have one at the location and we can work with three carts. Are you guys ready for another pinball adventure? My legs aren't like, yeah. Oh, it's going to be like 6,000 pounds worth of fun. I like that you're supporting the shirt. <laughs> Did you uh, warm up your muscles? I got a shirt in there. Oh, do you? Oh, cool. Still attempting to warm up my brain. Yeah, I know. Me too. My brain isn't quite fully turned on yet. I worked night shift last night. Oh, jeez. So how many hours sleep did you get? Uh, I left a little bit early. So did you? Oh, good. So I have a couple oh, of <laughs> Yeah, I didn't get my full 12 hours that I like to get, but... All right, see ya, puppy. We'll see you in, like, 14 hours. We got extra shenanigans today. I was talking a little bit about that on the, on the way to your place. Nice. How the internet is, I mean, like, all the cell services are down. So like our GPS won't work on our phone. I can't text. Uh, we can't go anywhere and buy anything because everything on debit is down. So we're like, oh, we'll just buy a paper map. But no, we can't pay for it unless we have cash. So we can go look at a paper map and take a photo of it. Anyway, the world is ending today because nobody has internet. So it'll show be interesting. We should be able to make it there, hopefully. The uh, GPS at least seems to be working, so that's at least going for us. Okay, this is our turn, and the road is completely closed. This is how we get to our trailer. And according to the map, <laughs> this is the only way in. So shenanigans have begun, and with the internet, and cell service working we cannot communicate with the outside world at all like the only way to communicate these days right now is face to face so uh not sure what we're gonna do yet we'll keep you posted we're off-roading on a road that doesn't exist in the gps we found our way around but the gps is uh not up to date we didn't install the latest software update all right we should be at the trailer place any second we're backing up to the trailer. <laughs> All right, trailer is secured. These guys are just hooking her up. 
Oops. Go for a quick tour in here. Oh yeah, oh, that's lots of space. This should do. I'll have to, uh, I want to check the, uh, the rating on the weight yeah, there. Yeah. Where's that sticker? On the, other side. on the other side? Cool. See how many pounds of pinball machines we can cram into this bad boy. Where's this sticker at? Is this the sticker? Here we are. Okay. What does it say? Uh, do, 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 do. Inquirer, the weight of the cargo should not exceed 3,600 pounds. We, we, we might be exceeding that. Kevin is signing his life away on the dotted line. Yeah. Alright, how long have we been on the road, do we think? Uh, an hour and 40 minutes. An hour and 40. Got about another hour to go. I'm tired. I'm yeah, tired it'd be nice if we could nap along the way, but... There's no comfy place to lie down. No. So, good old 401, busy highway, under construction. But uh, we're getting there. We're just trying to determine if the trailer and the truck can uh, handle the weight of all these machines. So, there may have to be a second trip involved. Uh, it would be nice if we could get them all into one load, but we figure we can get about 4,500 pounds on this thing. By 26 machines times even 200 pounds is uh, too much. <laughs> Plus all the extra stuff. So I don't know. To fit 26 machines, though. I, I think we have the space. I think we could probably pull it off. It's just the weight is the problem. So I guess we'll see when we get there. We're gonna stop for lunch soon, so we don't faint on the job. And uh, yeah, we'll uh, be there in about an hour. See you there. Lunch pit stop. <laughs> Burger King breakfast of champions. Actually, it's getting close to noon now, so lunch of champions. Boys, we're here. You ready to see what we just bought? Okay, here we go. I see gray. All right. So this is where all the pinball is hiding, eh? <laughs> Yeah, how long do you think this stuff has been in here? Okay, here it is, the grand opening. All right, there it is. Door number two. What's behind door number two? Hey, laundry. Yeah. <laughs> is that included in the deal? Fortunately not. All right. <laughs> no vintage Levi's for thousands of dollars. Be the day. All right. Well, let's. I'm gonna hop in here and just kind of sniff around, and you guys can crawl in there too if you like. This almost looks like Yukon, but like rethemed Yukon. Oh, um, which this machine here? It looks like the same layout as Yukon. Oh yeah. It has the. I don't really. Oh, the reels. Yeah. Okay. That's kind of what sets it off. All right. So. Mike, turn around. What do we got? Oh yeah, 500 pounds of legs. We got Solar City. We got Solar, Solar City. With the machine. Jungle Princess. Odds and evens. Solar High Solar score. Solar City, I mean. A cabinet for Space Odyssey. <laughs> There's Matahari. <laughs> what else do we got? What is this? Target values. Oh, uh, what is this one called again? That's not Ships Ahoy. What do we what, what, Buccaneer? Buccaneer right here. Oh, okay, we got a Buccaneer. And, uh, okay, I'm gonna climb up on top of the machines. What do we see? What do we see? Um, you know. Oh, is there a back left? There's six. They're really buried. We're gonna have to just kinda see as we go, right? I'm interested in the Buccaneer. Here's miscellaneous parts all over the place. Dutch is already into the Buccaneer. Yeah, that's actually a uh, EDM though. Oh, I see um, a bobby or cabinet. I think the size might be okay. This, what's with the horseshoe on the front of the cabinet? What, what game is that? Bronco. Bronco, yeah, maybe that's a Bronco. Okay, well, <clears throat> this is a... 
This is what we're uh, up against here. High Hand. Oh, High Hand. That's a cool game. Space Odyssey. Bally Displays. All right. Oh, and this is the um, the big game. This is with the uh, marbles there that I was telling you about. Well, what do you guys think? Shall we dig in? I think this is going to be heavy. Ah, I got caught. I can't turn around. There we go. I'm uh, precariously hey, another, perched. Hey, that's another, another buccaneer. There's two. Here, you grab this camera while I. Uh, oh, look. Buccaneer here and buccaneer there. Okay. Whoa. Okay. okay. All right, so I guess it's time to get to work. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah, he'll get the uh, <clears throat> forklift to lift this. Oh, really? Oh, oh forklift. Boom. I love that. And, um,. Uh, do you have another hand cart? We have a couple hand carts. Yeah, so I got a, if we have just a dolly. Yeah, yeah. Nice. All right, it's time. All right, this is about as uh, close as we're going to get. Yeah, we got some wheel wells to work with here. Uh, we're going to make do. So we got a, you know, a little bit of a hike to the sea can there, but uh, we'll uh, make do. We got a forklift. That'll come in handy. Okay, so what time is it? Uh, time. I, I was just going to check my... Alright, so you guess. Uh, 12.30? 12.28. 12.28, oh, okay. So that's what time we're starting our first load. We'll see how uh, well we do. Alright, it begins. I'm already out of breath. Do you think we'll be able to fit all this crap in here? Um, Alright, back to work. Make nice machines out of all of these. <laughs> That's a slick chick. That's a pretty cool game. We got some nails that are sticking out quite a bit. So, hey, I got 100 points. I think that's a thousand points. Yeah, that was a thousand. Oops, I just uh. uh yeah, this uh, got a built-in two by two hand railing on this 2001. But uh, yeah, look, we're making progress. What is that? Twelve. This, this <laughs> Two thousand and one makes twelve, no which heads. is, which is only yeah, no heads. It's only like half. Not even quite half. Uh, yeah, yeah. Ah, that's a fun looking friggin' pile though. I gotta tell you. And another machine. <laughs> we got the uh, the pinball relay happening here. Right, Mike, it's time. Oh, parts carrying time. I'm, I quit. You're fired. Why Marco's I, hired. Why am I fired, huh? <laughs> Jen's hired. Huh? All why right. am I fired? All right, you're rehired. You're putting a dent into the trailer, or a sea can here. And uh, I forgot, off. Sky Kings is like the reverse wedge head. There's the target alpha. No, it's not, like, I think we found a uh, Gottlieb System 80B. What do you think this is? I'm thinking maybe Victory. Wait, look at this. What does it say here? Uh, maybe not. Oh, what do you got here? Oh, the bell. This last probably an old game. And what's around the corner here? We're holding up the show. We gotta be quick. We gotta be prompt here. I don't know what this is. Uh, that looks like another something or other. I see Masquerade anyway. head. Oh, Twin Win. Yep. That's cool. I see a masquerade. Masquerade. What do we That's do? See a pioneer. Uh, it's a buccaneer. Sold head. New York. All right. Uh, there's two Back to work. There's two buccaneer heads there. Floor, what is irritating you? <laughs> I'm just kidding. He's getting stuck on everything. Oh, okay, we're working up a sweat, but we're getting near the finish line here. This is what the pile looks like now. <laughs> it's a big string of heads there. Let's go around the uh, side and see what that looks like. Hey, we can stick more heads on top of heads. Let's get the view from this side. <laughs> that is one Jenga of pinball machines. Say cheese! <laughs> okay, Houston, we may have a problem. We're riding pretty low. We may be uh, we may be overloaded. We're fully loaded. 
it's time to uh actually we're overloaded we are really uh <laughs> we're a little scared honestly this I'm could be jesus right now man yeah i think we all are but time to uh i guess pay and see if we can get out of here it's safe okay turn down the tunes um we are on our way out this is our first 30 feet out of the place and uh I'm we're scared. just, we're, we're, we're a little terrified at the weight we're carrying. Kevin's a little more confident, thankfully. He's the one driving though, so how's it feeling? It's pretty heavy, but we we'll survived. Like, we've survived about one kilometer now, maybe. Not even. <laughs> Not even. Okay, 500 meters. Not even. And that's 200. a good, the fact that we survived this far so far is a good sign. Just if we no go bump. 60 no kilometers bump. an hour all the way home, we might be okay. And no train tracks, no bumps, like, no turns would be nice. Train tracks will immediately kill us if we go anything, yeah. fast, anything faster than five. Our leaps are snapping. So, we're on the road. We so are so far so good. I didn't really get a final shot of the fully loaded everything. like. We were already overloaded and then added another 2,000 pounds, especially with the legs. They were like the icing on the cake. Ugh. Anyway, we'll check in in a little bit and uh, see how uh, we survive. Okay, so we've learned that without the internet, that we are, <laughs> we are lost. We are, GPS doesn't work text doesn't work phone doesn't work internet doesn't work we are like off the grid and we can't we, find a freaking gas station we, we pulled off at a random you know uh, exit to try and find a gas station and buy a map we were going to buy a map the world is like I don't know if uh, this is happening anywhere else in uh, the world but in Canada or at least Ontario we are off the grid these are serious shenanigans indeed so, we're trying to find a gas station and a map, and we end up in the middle, friggin' downtown... Wherever, wherever what is this again? Yeah. Richmond Hill. Richmond Hill. This is not where we want to be with the 10,000 pound load. We think there is a highway at the end of the city that will be a little more chill. We don't want to go down the main 401. But uh, we are amongst some serious overload shenanigans off the grid shenanigans like now we realize how dependent i could just go click click bloop bloop avoid motorways ding dong rerouted hey there's gas get a gas and a map i don't see it either but uh oh and we'll check on our load to see uh back there we've heard a few rumbles jingles and bangs and crashes uh so yeah, we've made it this far though, like only 194 kilometers to go. Okay, we have officially made it to a gas station. Let's see how uh, low everything's hanging here. Uh, the tires don't actually look all that bad. They looked worse before. Yeah, I want you, yeah, I'd like to see the load. I never really got a, a good video of the entire load. So, Dutch is going to uh, open sesame and <laughs> not squish himself under the uh, ramp there. That would be hilarious. Oh, yes. That would be so funny, Mike. <laughs> that would be perfect for this video. Okay. That would also be perfect for this video. Inserts middle finger. That would be good. Okay. This is the load. Oh, my God. What? Gottlieb plungers galore. This is all your guys' fault, I swear. I have nothing ah. to do with it. What the hell did we do? Oh my oh, god. I count. Is there... oh, yeah, we have to like crawl in there and get a photo of ourselves all in there. All right. Do you want to open the side door too? We'll take a quick I'm peek the only at that. that hasn't opened the side door, Mike. <laughs> yeah. Actually, it's, there's a it. trick to it. You just got to pull it. All right. Here's wow. the side. Uh, we got shit crammed anywhere. Do you see any reasons why we heard those crashes and bangs? All these boxes actually didn't budge. Could be that. Everything seems to be okay. But what if 
effing sea of pinball machines. Well, we have to count. Is there 26 here? We didn't count there. Yeah, give a count. I'll check on Kevin. You let me know. How's it going over there? Oh, right. We might need to use cash. All right, I've got cash if needed. It does? Oh, okay. We're off the grid today. Like, we're living in prehistoric times. What? How many? 26. There's 26 bodies after all. Jen was right. But how many heads are there is the question. How many heads? Oh, wait. I was going to show in the truckload, but I'll show that after. Um, we got the whole truck is also just filled with tons of parts and boxes and legs and why do we have the who this is tommy we got uh extra this decals is, we got a promo plastic promo, Wait. oh it's no a, that's a, it's print. a piece of paper but uh, there's the promo plastic right there or not promo plastic but it's just plastic plastic maybe it was it was made 94 our newest that is like it's a cool game that's a dmd game i would have loved to have that one but uh you know We've got we got two EMs. So that that one um, two solid states. funky red Gottlieb cabinet with the displays ends up being um, Royal Flush Deluxe. And the Matahari. And the Matahari. Yep. So we got two solid states. Uh, all right. Well, I'm let's close up shop. I'm, I'm interested in the Buccaneer. Dutch is already uh, shopping for his next project. Well, not necessarily next project. This Oh, you want to keep it? All right. But the fact that we survived this far down the road uh, is, is promising. We might actually make it all the way home. Oh, let's go get a map. We're actually going to go buy a map. All right. Dutch, we got to go map hunting. All right. Oh, do you have a map? You sell maps? <laughs> like, we're so it. off the grid. Everybody's off the grid. We don't know how to get home. With Well, we we're trying to avoid the 401, really. Oh, that's a mess. Because uh, we got a huge load. Oh, uh, I'd like it's anywhere that we can get back to London. <laughs> oh, London, Ontario? Yeah, London. That's we're close. Nice. Uh, this is hilarious. I forgot how to use these things. You look at them. Do you, gotta... you look at them. Oh, is that how you use them? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. You see, you see the lines. The lines are important. Oh, lines equals roads. I appreciate this. Uh, and the compass di rose. Don't forget that. This is digging in deep for the uh, for the old school maps. <laughs> if you don't, if you don't want to give up. Yeah, exactly. Awesome. We'll take some photos. All right. There. Look at it. We might be able to get home after all. Get a high quality picture of this, you gotta get really close. <laughs> Alright, we think we found in this yeah, uh, Bible map. Here's Richmond Hill. Where is the We're London? here. Oh, we gotta get to gotta anywhere uh, off the 401. So we're gonna take some photos, but uh, we're getting closer. Finally, the London sign. Well, put up your feet, boys and girls. On what, your shoulders? <laughs> it's a long ride in this traffic. Actually, we're kind of moving now, which is better than it was, so good old 401. Okay, we are pretty close to home, finally. Having a dinner break. I'm having a Slim Jim. Dutch, what are you having for dinner? Shot the bar. <laughs> Kevin? Cliff bar. Cliffy bar. Oh, and also we have um, this pretty cool big game back glass for a little mini machine. I don't know. If I took any video footage of it. It's a little, like, I think maybe 1940s pinball machine. Oh, it's the original back glass for it. Having rice cakes too. And rice cakes, nice. So this uh, comes up front with us and makes sure it's nice and safe. But we are getting close. Oh, we, deserve, we determined that this loading of 26 machines was easier by far then hauling up the Tron Arcade and Data East Star Wars up that crazy stairwell last adventure we were on. Yeah, that was uh, you can find that if you want. Just look up Tron on my channel and type in that search word, you'll find it. But the moving those two machines is way harder than this entire lot, by far. 
Yeah, with the heads, with the extra legs and parts and boxes. Smooth sailing. The other, complete nightmare. Anyway, see you at storage. All right, we've arrived to the storage. And uh, yeah, we got a little bit of unloading to do. Got to sort out our strategy here. Holy shit, what did we do? Pinballs, pinballs, get your pinballs. What's like in, one, <laughs> what's behind aisle number one? Let's go for a little walk down aisle number one. Shopping aisle number one. All right, that's what we got in aisle one. We got the middle row. That's kind of like some of the stuff that doesn't have matching head or body. And then we got aisle number two. Oh, clean up and out too. Bunch of legs. Um, this is your tour down aisle number two. Okay, let's uh, head back. On your way out, grab yourself a set of legs right here. Complimentary. Complimentary free legs with the purchase of any pinball machine. And then don't forget to grab yourself a pinball. You just got to find it. And uh, if you see uh, a rubber that you need, boom, there you go as well. There we go. Everything is offloaded. We made it home. Can you believe it, boys? No. All right. It's too um, good to be true. Are you traumatized from the experience? Or, uh... A little. <laughs> it was definitely the experience. Uh, okay, what time is it? 8 o'clock. I left my house at 8. It's been 12 hours. Oh, let me check. There it is, though. 8.15. It's been over 12 hours. It was only an hour and a half to load. Yeah. And then the rest was driving. Yep. One and a half hours to load. Uh, maybe a little bit longer to offload because we we're trying to organize things. Uh, it's somewhat organized. I mean, the heads and the bodies. it's a little bit... The heads, yeah, match the bodies, you know? We got the Royal Flush body with the Royal Flush head. Solar City. Uh, that was our idea, anyway, to try and be somewhat organized. And we think we succeeded at that to a certain degree. And a little bit of space to work with. So, that's the end of this adventure. Uh, thanks for watching. Stay tuned. I'm sure there will be another adventure sooner or later.